baby, it's a wild world. It's hard to get by upon a smile, girl. Hello there, my name is Kevin, and welcome to a new baritone ukulele tutorial for none other than Cat Stevens' Wild World. So I'm gonna go through section by section, show you how to play the chords, and even incorporate a couple of small riffs that you probably have heard before in the chorus. So get your baritone tuned up, let's get to it. The rhythm for this tune is pretty easy. We're just gonna use a down-down strum throughout the song, other than when you're using the riffs. So I'm just gonna hold an A minor chord here while I demonstrate this. So you can see that in the graphic below. So the strumming pattern we're just gonna use is down, down. So I'll just count one, two. So every time I do that, that counts as one time as will be noted on the song sheet that I have a link to in the description. So let's just try that. Just kind of get in that rhythm together, holding an A minor chord here. So one, two, three, four, one. Make sure you're getting a nice bounce on the strings and catching all those strings when you strum. And one, two, one, two. So you're going to use that strum throughout the song. Nice and easy. If you want to kind of mess around with that strumming pattern, feel free to kind of uh, enhance it a little bit on your own. But I would just keep with the simple one so you can really feel the tempo of the song. Now let's get into the intro. So the intro of the song, you'll hear la 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 la, is just an instrumental section to start the tune. So let's go through the chords that we need and you can follow along below on the graphics. We'll start with an A minor chord. Middle finger here on the D string, ring on the G, and on the B string, first fret, we have our index finger. That's an A minor chord. And we're going to transition here by keeping our index finger here on the B string and pivoting down to our D7 chord. So for D7, we have our middle finger on the second fret on the G string, our ring finger on the E string on the second fret. So there's our second chord, D7. And then we move over to a G chord by sliding our ring finger from the second to the third fret. All right, so to play the C chord, we're just gonna play with our middle finger here on the D string second fret and our index on the first fret on the B string. That sounds like this. Then we move this shape to, yes, a little bar chord. So we have the F chord where we bar the bottom two strings here on the first fret, put our middle finger on the G string second fret and ring finger on the D string on the third fret. That sounds like this. So I will encourage you to keep working at this chord. It's a little tricky to get this bar down on the first fret, but I would really recommend putting your thumb behind your index finger so you can get good pressure on the strings when you're playing this F chord. So this is a good time to practice starting to kind of learn some more challenging chords here, and the F chord is definitely one of them. From F, we're gonna pivot down to a D minor chord. So keep your middle finger in place here on the second fret. And then we're gonna move our ring finger to the third fret B string, index finger to the little E string on the first fret. That sounds like this. Ah, so beautiful on the baritone. And then finally, to end the intro, we go to an E7 chord, which is just index finger here on the G string on the first fret. So let's walk through this intro section. The only chord that's going to take more than two strums is the final chord of the intro. When we get to the E7, we'll strum that four times down. So here we go, walking through this. I'll say the chord names as we go. You can follow along nice and slow. One, two, three, four, A minor, two, D7, two, G. So those are the chords and the strumming pattern for the intro section. Now let's take a look at the verse. 
So for the verse, you're in luck. There are no new chords to learn. It's gonna carry that same form as the intro section. There is just a little nuance that happens at the end of the verse. So at the end of each verse, we play the E7 chord with a down strum, and then we mute it with a down strum, and then we play a G chord. So I'll, let me show you how I did that there. So just simple down strum here on the E7. And then I release the pressure from my index finger here for the chord and I lay my fingers across the strings. I just touch them. I don't press them down and that's gonna mute the strings. So we have down, mute, and then G. Two, three, four. So let's try that together. One, two, three. Three, four, E7, mute, G, two, three, four. And that's gonna end every verse section of the tune. So just kind of look out for that. And that's also noted on the song sheet that I have available at allforyouk.com if you wanna check that out. So now let's get into a little more fun here with the chorus section. There are no new chords for you to learn, so if you wanna follow along on the graphic below, we're gonna play this together, simplified, and then I'll show you how to incorporate the riffs into this, which are a lot of fun. So here we go, starting on a C chord, which starts the chorus. So we'll go one, two, three, four, C, G, two, F, two, three, four, and G, two, F, two, C, two, three, stay on C, two, G, two, F, two, three, four, then G, D minor, E7. So there's a couple riffs that are laid over those chords there at the end of the verse lines. And then the only other little thing to catch there at the end of this chorus, which I meant to say over those chorus lines before that, is this little place where you're gonna go D minor with a single down strum and E7 with a single down strum. And that's gonna happen at the end of every chorus section except the very end of the song. So just catch that and you'll see that noted in the graphics below and on the song sheet. All right, let's get to the fun part here, the riffs. So at the end of each chorus line, there is a little riff except the last line of the chorus. So after we do C, G, and F, Going to do a riff. So rather than doing that F four times, you do it two times and you add the riff for the last two times. So I play F and then this riff here, which goes. Let me show you how to do that. So we start here on the first fret on the B string and we pluck with our thumb. So I take my hand and I brace it underneath the body of the baritone here. And then with my thumb, I'm gonna do this with all down plucks. So the pattern, which you can see in the tab here, will go one, zero, and then we move up to the G string, two, zero, or open string, and then we move up to the D string, three, two, zero. Now I will note, if you listen to the recording, there's actually eight notes, not seven, but the way that this is set up here on the baritone, we can't go lower than a D note down to resolve to our C note here, so I have to kind of shorten the riff by one note. But as you play it with the song, it'll work out just fine. So let's go through that one more time here together. So I'll count us in, and we're just gonna play this really slow, and I'll say the numerals as we go through it. So one, two, three, four. One, zero, two, zero, three, two, zero. Man, my voice got really deep there, and that was weird. So that is the riff the first time. So let's now 
show you how to do that with the chord progression and then adding in the riff. So we start on the C chord. One, two, three, four. C, two, G, two, F, two, riff. And you can play that every time that the first line of the chorus is set. Now after the second line of the chorus, we go to our G chord, and then F chord, and then C chord. And then there's this riff. So how does that riff go? So on the G string, I'm gonna use my middle finger here, and I'm gonna play open, open, second fret with my middle finger, and then first fret on the B string three times. End it with second fret on the G string and then open G string. So again, it's zero, zero, two, and then B string, one, 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 back to the G string, two, zero. So spend some time with these riffs on your own. If you have a practice routine put together, maybe Wild World is on your list of things that you're working on. When you're practicing, spend some time just working on these riffs. Don't try to just throw them into the equation. Work on them separate and then slowly incorporate them into the song, which you'll have a chance to practice that with me in a little bit here. But let's try to play this second set of chords and the riff together here, just nice and slow so you get a good repetition. Here we go, starting on a G chord. So we have two, three, four. G, G, F, F, C, C, riff. And one more time, same thing. Two, three, four, G, two, F, two, C, two. So those are the two riffs that happen within the chorus. You guys have all the components you need to play the song. I just want to mention the bridge section, which really isn't a bridge is another verse section where you play the same chords that you play over the verse section. It's just the lyrics come in halfway through. So you'll see that when we do the play along here together. But without further ado, let's hop into the play along. All right, so now that you've had a chance to learn the sections, spend a little time with each of those. We're gonna put it all together here for the play along to end the video. We're gonna play through it, medium tempo. I'm not gonna do the riffs except I will incorporate them in the overlay so you can hear what they sound like with the chorus. So here we go with the vocals and all the good stuff. One, two, three, four, A minor, D7, G, C, F, D minor, E7, two, three, four. Now that I lost everything Say you wanna start something new And it's breaking my heart of your leaving Baby, I'm grieving But if you wanna leave, take good care Hope you have a lot of nice things to wear and Then a lot of nice things turn bad out there Two, three, chorus Ooh, baby, baby, it's a wild Get by upon a smile, girl. Three, stay on C. Ooh, baby, baby, it's a wild world. Three, four. I'll always remember you as a child, girl. Verse two. I know I've seen a lot of what the world can do, and it's breaking my heart in two. Cause I never want to see you sad, girl But don't be a bad girl If you want to leave, take good care Hope 
you have a lot of nice things to wear But a lot of nice things turn bad out there Two, three, to the chorus Ooh, baby, baby, it's a wild world Three, four, it's hard to get by Upon a smile to stay on the sea It's a wild world before I'll always remember you as a child, D minor, and the bridge, and G, and C, F, D minor, hang on the E, two, three. If you want to leave, take good care. You have a lot of nice things to wear But remember there's a lot of bad in Beware To the chorus Three, four Ooh, baby, baby It's a wild world Three, four It's hard to get by Upon a smile Stay on the scene Four Ooh, baby, baby It's a wild remember you as a child D minor last time Ooh, baby, baby It's a wild world Three, four It's hard to get by Upon a smile, girl Three, four Ooh, baby, baby It's a wild world Three, four I'll always remember you is a child girl and it on the C chord. Well, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. This is a new series for us with baritone songs. If you want to get the song sheet for this, the tab with all of the riffs, you can do that at allforyouk.com. We have seven day free trial. If you'd like to try out a membership, I encourage you to do so. Tons of learning resources, including practice tracks, song sheets, worksheets that I put together to help you become a better uke player. Whether it's on baritone, tenor, or both, we've got all the resources you need. My name is Kevin. If you like this channel, make sure you subscribe, leave your comments below, your song requests in the comments. I love hearing from you guys. I'll see you next time.